Welcome back to the next Sky Striker construction update. Not a whole lot of updates today, but uh, what I did really have was this really low cloud level, which is kind of pretty. It was announced during No Coaster Con that there will be some sort of updates to the front entrance. However, I wasn't really able to see anything super interesting going on with the front entrance, at least from any of the angles that were accessible with the low fog level that was present yesterday. I also couldn't see any of the Carousel Plaza updates that they had also mentioned. You can see over here that a uh, hangover is completely missing. I couldn't get quite the same angle that I got last time, uh, but there is nothing left over in the actual right area. You can see that the entirety of hangover is now sitting in the parking lot. Um, you can see the main base piece that was over there before, along with the main supports, but I don't seem to be able to see the uh, train anywhere, so that's interesting. I don't know why they would move, remove the train from the park, but not remove the track, but maybe they're sending it to a prospective seller or something, I don't know. Another interesting thing to note is uh, this is the location where uh, King Chaos has sat for many, many years. And it looks like most of it, if not all of it, has been scrapped. I'll put a picture of what this looked like last time. Um, but yeah, it looks like that ride has finally left after being taken out in 2016 or 2017. Uh, it, uh, it looks to be gone forever now. Looking over here in the parking lot, uh, the World of Lights thing is kind of still set up. Um, with the main entrance, yeah, looking all like that. There's no pieces that I could find of Sky Striker quite yet, but hopefully those will start to arrive soon. Here's another look at the front entrance. You can see that the, the sign is still there, the hill is still there, the front gate is still still remaining intact. No, no demolition or any real work visible from the skies. It was announced during No Coaster Con that the mystery bus ride was being refurbished, and we can indeed see that the ride vehicle is missing from over in Camp Cartoon, and you can actually see the bus just sitting right here. I wonder if it will uh, be repainted or maybe even the ride vehicle replaced to remove the Gooby Doo theme. Um, just without the Scooby-Doo branding. The location for Sky Striker itself it has gotten some progress, but not a whole lot. Um, it looks like in the four holes that we saw during the last visit, there are now forms for the actual foundations of the ride. Um, you can actually see how tight the foundations get to X-Flight's uh, footers over there, which means they're really squeezing in this ride. You can also see over here three of the other announced removals in Revolution, the basketball game, and then the pirate ship play structure. Also from this angle, you can kind of see uh, what's behind the construction walls near Buccaneer Battle, but at least from this angle, it doesn't look any different than the last time I saw it in the park. One thing you can see is actually Viper from this angle. You can see during a very notorious rough part on the ride's first camelback, there is some white plastic sheeting over some of the track, which indicates retracking work which was also announced during No Coaster Con. Thankfully, that part of the ride was actually kind of insane in row four, and uh, I'm glad that it's being retracked because it was brutal. Also over here is JD Barbecue, and uh, obviously no, con no real construction from the outside, but I wouldn't expect that um, because it is mostly just interior work. Overall, yeah, not a very uh, interesting construction update, but hopefully over the next couple months we will be able to see some more concrete evidence of work going on and eventually Sky Striker structures showing up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in about a month for the next one.